Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing well. We're here with a general reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. So what I'm seeing is that there's something that you're building right now that is connected with your long-term this can have to do with your business, it can have to do with a relationship, it can have to do with a career move or a change that you're making, um, but what I'm seeing is that there's such a focus on this is the thing that I want to invest in and I'm trying to make sure that there's a sense of balance, that there is like an equal sense of give and take with this. I was seeing the Emperor, which is Aries, I was also seeing the Star, which is Aquarius, we're gonna get further and see what's going on here though <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot of a lot of cards that are connected with vitality so you may be feeling like you have more inspiration more energy more willing to get things done make things happen stuff of that nature be feeling more motivated Okay. We're starting off with the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is um, a card that represents Jupiter. Could have been worrying about how things were going to turn out. This can be like, I know that there are certain things that are out of my hands. I wish that I had a sense of control over it. I don't necessarily feel that sense of control because I don't know what's going to happen or because this particular thing is outside of my realm of control. There may be something that you're stressing out about because of that. Whatever this is connected to for you. Maybe it's something that you're working on and you're like, is this actually going to be worth it to me that I'm spending all of this time doing this? I'm seeing something that you're very committed to. And something that you've definitely been like putting a lot of your effort into. Find ways to ground your energy. The guidance is to do whatever you need to do to ground and center yourself. Otherwise, your head's not going to feel balanced. Your emotions aren't going to feel balanced. You want to be best suited to deal with what's coming up for you. I'm almost seeing your guide saying like, oh, you, you want to really emotionally prepare yourself right now because there is something that's going to be happening and you want to be ready for it, especially emotionally, energetically. There may be something that you're trying to come to terms with. I'm seeing that reflecting is going to help with this. If you're feeling like at odds with yourself or you feel like something isn't reconciled internally, I'm seeing that you're going to be doing that. Is that the Ten of Swords? All right. There may be something where you're like, I know that this thing needs to end, but for some reason I'm not ending it. You may be in a spot where you're like, why did things have to turn out like this? But I'm actually getting that. Okay, let's use an example because this is coming through. Let's say that you are in a relationship with somebody and things have come to light now where you may not be feeling happy about things. You may be like fighting with this person. Um, Things may be getting to the point, this can also be a work situation too, but I'm getting specifically for someone in a relationship, um, you may be in a space where like it has come, it has become very obvious about what's meant to happen because this is like, I can see where things are going, I can see what I'm really being guided to do here, I'm seeing how things are turning out and your guides are over here supporting you 
and being like, hey, this is what's going on here, letting you know that there may be a situation that you're in that's not really in alignment anymore. You would feel this because one, you've been feeling stressed out emotionally, mentally, you feel like it's really taking a lot to ground right now. King of Cups coming out after someone's out here feeling like this. This is this is something where whatever this is that's ungrounded for you, you need to find a way to ground it. In order to be functioning as best as possible. This is also something too where you're like, I see how like out of control I feel in this sense or that I feel very affected by this thing that I keep going back into or I keep repeating this. This is like you actually seeing how something has been happening over and over and over again. Like there's a, with the Wheel of Fortune, there's like a karmic understanding of what has come to be. And so you may be at that point where... I do want to point this out. You may be taking this and being like, I wish that I wasn't seeing this, but to have Jupiter here, Jupiter is here and helping you because Jupiter is beneficial. So this is something where it's like, I'm pointing this thing out so you can see, so you can expand your mind, so you can open, but it may feel overwhelming for you right now. Like you may be really having a lot of insight and seeing something very clearly with Jupiter where your perspective has now... Per has now expanded enough to be able to really see something clearly but it may be hi oh it may be a difficult thing to kind of come to terms with especially mentally but i'm also seeing this as affecting you emotionally and i mean like it's all connected anyway right but this is something where you may be able to you may be in a spot where you're like i can't get this out of my head i can't stop thinking about it um, I'm definitely getting something about Mercury retrograde coming through here. Mercury retrograde, um, things that can happen is like maybe some stuff that you hadn't been consciously realizing because Mercury has to do with your um, your psyche and, and your mental space and your mentality and also your conceptualization of things. And you may have been pushing something away and being like, I don't want to deal with that or like, I'm not going to deal with that until it's like right in front of my face. And now something is right in front of your face and you can't really run away from this. But again, to have Jupiter here, it's like this is actually here to benefit you. It may feel like a lot right now. Like you may actually be struggling. But I'm seeing you get to a point where you're like, Jupiter is here to show you the truth. Like Jupiter, Sagittarius, this is here to be like, this is what it is. It's time to really look at this. So you can live in the reality of this situation, like not in an ungrounded fantasy. And Jupiter is here being like, I'm here to support you. Like this is your guides, your guidance, um, like the benevolent energies that are around you. And you may be in a spot where you're like, I know that this thing needs to come to an end. Like this isn't normal. This isn't healthy anymore at this point and something needs to come to an end. But you're, you may be in a space where you're like, I don't feel prepared. for. I keep getting this sense of you may have not felt completely prepared for this. Like maybe even to come to this conclusion or have this realization. And now you're realizing this thing really does need to come to an end. King of Cups says you really need to ground your energy before you can go into this situation and really do this because I'm seeing something that's hard to go into. This can be like I'm fighting with a partner and something about like this animosity and this tension, it needs to be taken care of. And that's what the Ten of Swords is about. The Ten of Swords is like a cycle that really needs to come to an end, but you needing to be grounded and centered in order to do this properly. I will say this too. With the Ten of Swords, it doesn't mean like, wow, my whole relationship is going to come to an end now. This can mean whatever this Five of Wands is that's been going on will come to an end. So although there may be other aspects of the relationship that are still alive, this is about ending what needs to come to an end. What has been pushed off and avoided and not been being addressed. And this is like resentment coming up, tension coming up, we're getting into disagreements. It's like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody. And being at a point where it's like, I really need to let go. You may be like stubbornly holding on to something. Your partner could be. But I'm seeing it just be like a lot of clashing and a lot of fighting right now. And you getting to a point where you're like, I don't even want to deal with this right now. But it needs to be dealt with.
as I said before, I'm seeing your guides really are encouraging you to do what you need to do to find peace of mind. Because this is definitely a test to see, like, are you going to, it's like this, you are getting thrown in the middle of the ocean right now, and if you are holding on to these things, it's going to be like a lead weight that just drags you down to the bottom, or are you going to let go of what you need to let go of? So if you're holding on to things that are not conducive to a healthy relationship, that may be part of the reason why you're struggling. But I'm seeing things get to the point where it's feeling very unpleasant now. Feeling like I can't ignore this anymore. Nine of Swords can also say too, like your routine is being disrupted now. Like something is getting severe enough where it's like I have to address this. I'm seeing a lot of tension here. And I'm seeing you in the middle of it very much. This doesn't just have to be a partner. This can be anything really socially for you. I'm hearing the Ten of Swords being called a zinger. I don't really know exactly what the like contextual understanding of that, but that's coming through. Maybe that's a term that you use. Ten of Swords is kind of like a situation that feels biting to you mentally, emotionally. Something that's hard because it's coming to an end. Now, I'm seeing the Three of Cups and I'm seeing the lovers. There may be a friend that you're connecting with. There may be somebody that's giving you some sort of support. Like, I'm seeing you be in a space where um, something may have, like, actually legitimately finally come to an end. This is, like, a fight that leads to, like, a breakup or something like that. Or, like, the last fight we're going to have about this one thing. Whatever this is for you, something has finally, like, climaxed in some way. Depending on your situation, that's going to depend on the severity and, like, how many things this is affecting. So for some of you, it can be, like, we're never going to talk about that subject ever again. Or we're never going to have this fight ever again. Or it can be, like, actually a breakup that you have. But whatever it is that happens after this Ten of Swords, which, like, this was long overdue, definitely. From what I'm seeing, you... It seems like this was put off until you could no longer ignore this anymore. And then immediately after this ending, I'm seeing you hanging out with somebody or getting together. So you may be connecting with people that you feel supported by. Three of Cups is like your friends that support you, um, your family members, just people that understand you that you feel emotionally supported by. Um, there may be a particular person that you're connecting with that you feel like closer maybe than a like your average casual friend. Because I'm seeing the Three of Cups and the Lovers. So this may be... Um, this would be somebody that you... Like, this person knows what to do. I don't know what exactly that means. I'm channeling. Um, but you may see this person as... Maybe just somebody that... You know, there are like certain people that you could go to within your life where you're like, I'm really dealing with this thing and I'm really struggling with it and I just feel kind of lost or I need some direction or I just like need to like come to you to feel safe. I'm seeing this be like, that's who this person is to you. Feeling like a good friend, whoever this person is, or at least that being an aspect of your relationship with them. For some of you too, something may have gotten really heated with somebody and things ended in a way that felt unsettling and you may be in a space where you're like, I want to reconcile with this person. 
I'm seeing this be like filed under your hopes and dreams here. So I don't know if this is the same. Per For some of you, it can be the same person. It's like whoever this is that you went through this horrendous ending with or this um, severe situation, you may be thinking about them now and being like, wow, I want to reconnect with them. But for some of you, this may be a different person entirely. Because we're reading for how many people here. It's it just, I'm seeing this also be a variable within the reading too. But it's somebody that you know you have some form of connection with and something that you would want to expand upon further. And they could also be somebody that started off more as a friend because I'm seeing a like friends to lovers type of situation here with the three of cups to the lovers to the nine of cups. It's like maybe hanging out in a group setting with somebody and then getting to a point where you're like one on one with them and getting closer because three of cups would already be like somebody that you have things in common with common interests like a friendship stuff like that, mutually understanding each other, feeling seen, and then the lovers is kind of like narrowing that and making it more specific to your relationship with this person and maybe just kind of seeing each other and other people kind of falling away. And then to have the nine of cups, this is like I have a desire to be close with this person that I feel really understands me emotionally. But you may feel like there's a barrier to that for some reason as well. Like there's something that you want, but you may feel like... I don't know. It may be hard to access that for some reason. I'm seeing it be like challenging. There would be a challenge associated with you going after this thing that you want with this person. This is the challenge. This is like the wall. This is the, I want this thing, but I know that there's something that's kind of like blocking me from being able to get there. So you may feel stuck in that way. This may be a sign for you to let off the gas a bit, actually. You may slow something down. I feel like we keep oscillating back and forth between the energy. Whoever this person is that you want to connect with and you want things to be like maybe how they had been in the past or how you know that they could be in the future, I'm seeing something feel so challenging to a point that you actually move away from it. Because Six of Swords is getting to a point where you're like, this thing is too hard or it's just... um sort of like a puzzle that I can't figure out and I feel like there's no way for me to move beyond this like there's a wall here and it's not moving so I need to move and you may actually really like move away from this situation almost like you recognizing that there's something that you want but there being so much of a challenge that you recognize you may not actually get that within the situation and move on Especially as tensions rise higher and higher. What I am seeing is that for those of you that already went through the ending, I'm seeing things definitely are going to calm down after this. I'm really seeing this be like the top of the roller coaster that you're getting to within this situation. I'm seeing something that like this has been a very emotional process that you've been moving through. Like you would really feel like your moon and your Venus energy being activated. Probably also your sun and your ascendant. Um, but coming back to the point, what I'm seeing is that it seemed like something got to the point where it it grew so big and maybe so unmanageable or just so clear and obvious that it needed to be addressed even though it was a challenge to address it. And now there's this part of figuring out how exactly to do this. But then I'm seeing 
after the Ten of Swords takes place, I'm seeing the Six of Swords. So that means that, like, this thing, when all is said and done, it's finally finished now. And there's this, like, moving on to a better space that's happening. So know that once you get to the point where things, like, really are finally just whatever needs to come to an end comes to an end you immediately move on from this and you're like there's a sense of relief here and there's this knowledge too that you're doing what's best for you and also your peace of mind as well emotionally and opening you back up to feeling in harmony with yourself maybe in a way that you hadn't been feeling so much yeah i'm definitely seeing things really brighten up after this so if you're struggling right now this is going to be a temporary thing if certain things are coming up where you're like, it's so obvious that I can't ignore, that's exactly why it's coming up in that way. So you can address it and so you can keep moving. We are just looking at Gemini and Jupiter here. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing. And I hope to catch you guys next time.